Hello friends, welcome back. You can create your own custom structure by using these tags, available tags. For example, let's say I want to create articles slash uh, I will use then category. Okay. Uh, then I want to use the post name and then want the post ID. But I want the dash between uh, post name and the post ID. And if I click save changes, go back to second window go back here refresh the page and when you click on the block image post view you can see the articles which is our um, static front we have used then block which is the category block category assigned to this block image post and then the block image which is the slug of this post and then hyphen id which is the id of the post okay so similarly like we have constructed this custom url structure and it generated the rewrite rules uh, which saved in the database and based on this custom structure the rewrite rules wordpress will identify our uh, like post request and then and then get the data from the database based on the current url structure and then display into the front end okay so similarly um, the custom structure works and the here articles becomes the front of that uh, permanent structure and we will i will talk about how these articles will affect are used for the uh, movies post types or custom like custom post types or custom taxonomies okay so let's keep it here a custom structure here for like we have selected this custom structure for now for the post now go to the category based or tag so let's see how what is the default category and tag works so if i go here go back to the categories and if i select for example block category here and if i click on a view if you see here you can see the articles category and the block since articles is also used here because this is the front like when we have used articles into permalink settings here this becomes a front of the permalink structure so uh, by default uh, the custom taxonomy or the default taxonomies or default post types are used to with front means whatever the front have been added into the default permalink structure that will be used into the other url structure as well and if you want to remove it we can easily remove it okay so i will also talk see how we can like i will also show you how we can remove it but by default this is the uh, default uh, uh, structure url structure for the category okay what about the tags so if you click on a tags if you go to the alignment tags here similarly you can see the fit front which is the articles then tag and then the tag slug okay so if you want to change this here so i will go to the permalink settings and, and from the settings i can change the base for the category and tag so let's say i want to keep it short time instead of the category i will use c instead of the tag i will use a t for example and then click a save changes it will flush the rewrite rules if you go back here go to the categories i have refreshed the page so go to the block and now you can see the C or block here, the width front or the articles have been removed because I have changed the, the category base and which will directly apply. Again, okay, by when we change the custom uh, category base, the width front uh, value of the register taxonomy will be passed false. Uh, I don't worry about it. I will show you how we can use that or how it affect the width front uh, argument of the rewrite argument in the register taxonomy and the uh, register post type function okay so this is the way that it will change and if you go back to tags then if you go to the tags if you click on articles tags here you can see the slash t slash articles okay so this way we have uh, we can change the permalink structure for the default post and the category basis okay if you go to the pages then the in the pages uh, the default pages will be default okay so if you go to the block page here and if you click on a view so it will simply just a block okay which is the slug of this block page okay um, so if you like click about about test so then only about okay so this is like the pages uh, don't have any front or anything it like directly um, the like this your domain and then the the slug of the page okay okay now let's talk about custom post types and custom taxonomy so you remember like uh, we have created two post types movies and the people okay so in the movies if you see here 
you can um, go I'm okay let me okay so if I go here in the view so in the URL structure you can see the articles then movie which is our um, post type slug and then our slug okay so this is the structure so uh, what if we don't want this article is the width front in the custom post type and I want only the movie and the KGF chapter one I want to remove these articles which is the front of the permalink structure how we can do that so if you go to the plugin here in the post types folder in the movie uh, .php file this is the register post type function we have used and here we have to use this rewrite by default we have used through so it will use the default values of the to construct a uh, custom permalink structure or the rewrite rules okay so let's see what are the values of the rewrite uh, into the code so in the register post type uh, in the function documentation if you go here this is the rewrite so th this uh, rewrite uh, will accept either boolean value or the error boolean if it is true then it will just use the default values um, uh, of the slog or width front um, then construct the url structure but if you want to customize then you have you can pass the array so first is the slug which is the uh, add item of this rewrite uh, rule array so customize to customize a permalink so refers to post type key post type key means the post type slug what post type slugs we have passed okay and then width front like whether we want to pass this uh, with front uh, we want to keep it with front or not so the front value of this WP rewrite class. Don't worry, we will, in the next video, I will give a like overview of the WP rewrite class and its properties and functions and how it's used. Okay, so for now, just assume that this is the front value, which is based on uh, have a value based on the front or static uh, value added into the permalink structure. So if you remember here, go back to the permalink settings here okay so you can see the articles here so which will become your front okay when we use a custom url structure so if we remove it then there is no issue like if i remove it something and i'm just using the custom placeholders and save or change this go to the movies post type now you you don't see the custom slug here okay but like uh, if if i want I, what if i want this articles uh, in the url structure for the default post but don't do not want for the custom post types okay so i'm just going back um, and then go go to the permalinks and add it back here okay in the here i will add articles okay and click a save a change base now go uh, let's go to the movies and it has been changed okay so now go back here and so we have to pass this uh with front so we default is the slug so i want to keep it movie for now okay so let me just go here okay and i will pass in array format okay so here in array i will pass a slug which is uh, like if uh, which is the movie and which is the default one so if you don't pass then it's also fine but i'm just keeping it here um then uh, i will pass the width front uh, okay width front and i will pass the false because we don't want this article articles for uh, part uh, the word in the url structure okay so i will pass this one and if i go back here and go to the settings permalinks and then save or changes okay so let me open this into this second window to avoid the uh, changing okay movies and if i click here view now the articles has been removed articles were because we have the uh, we have passed the width front false so when we register a post type and passed and using this width front or the rewrite parameter we have told that we don't want to use the front okay whatever the front have been added into the default permalink structure of the post okay so based on these arguments wordpress will construct the custom permalink structure and then used it okay so this way we can change it and similarly if you go back to the people post type and if you click here here you can still see the articles so same value same thing we have to do for the person post type so for example here i will go back here then pass the array okay and here in the slug I will keep it a person which is the default person okay and I will pass the width front 
and here it's a fox okay so uh, and if i go back to permalink structure i have to flux the changes so uh, like why we like whenever we make changes into the rewrite rules we have to flush the like and we are say update the rules by clicking on the save changes of the permalink. whenever you click update a permalink structure wordpress will remove the uh, rewrite rules so stay saved into the database and then regenerate all the custom you are uh, rewrite rules okay and then saved it again so to reflect our custom updated rewrite rules we have to flush the rewrite rules okay and that's why we are doing it you can also do a programmatically using a flush rewrite rules function but that function we cannot call on every functions like on every request because it will take some time to uh, construct the rewrite rules okay and same to determine it will be a like time consuming things and it may affect the performance okay so that's why we are manually updating this one but if you are like as a plugin developer or theme developer you can use the activation hooks for example go to the movie library.php and here in the mlb you can do a flush rewrite rules on plugin activation and plugin activation you can register a post type register a te custom taxonomies register a custom rules and then flush rewrite since we are modifying the like custom post type argument itself so we don't like this just enough like if i deactivate the plugin and activate it plugin again on activation it will flush the rewrite rules after uh re rewrite rule updation okay but for now like instead of doing deactivation activation i will just simply change the uh, save the permalink settings without any changes okay so now we have changed it for the person so if you go here just save a changes here go back to this and if i refresh this page go here in the view and tartic removed okay and similarly uh, for what if the for movies join the taxonomy so if i click here you can still see the articles in the genre action so similarly we have to do for the uh, Register taxonomy. I will copy paste this one. Okay, let's just do one thing. Uh, close all the window. Go to the genre taxonomy. So in the taxonomy also we have the rewrite. So if you go to the register taxonomy uh, function and you can see the rewrite uh, rewrite parameter. Here's the slug, which is the default of the taxonomy slug, and then with front. Okay, because we don't want the front. So similarly for here i will do here and i will just pass copy the same taxonomy slug here okay and let's do same thing for the career taxonomy as well because in the that taxonomy also articles front will be displayed so here i will just copy this career taxonomy slug here okay and if i go back to permalinks click on a save changes and then go back here and refresh the page and then view and our front has been removed okay so similarly so now what if you want to change the like uh, url structure uh, like you do not like for example for the movies there is a movie but what if you want to keep it film okay i'm just taking some examples i don't have any valid examples but let's talk about that like examples like how we can changed it so if you go to the movie post you remember like uh, we passed the slug so here you can keep the post type slug movie but if you want to keep it different slug into the url structure you can keep it for example if i pass the film here okay um for person i will pass the maybe what i can pass maybe crew i don't know like let just uh, people for example no not the people but uh, let's keep it actor for now just for for this demo purpose only for actor okay and if i go here go to the permalinks and save a changes so when we change uh, save a changes it will run our code register of it will execute register post type in the register post type we have updated the rewrite argument based on that it will construct the new uh, rewrite rules and save into the database and it will be in effect okay so if you go to the for example here movies if i refresh the page now you can see the film so here you can see the film instead of the movie right so and similarly uh, 
if you go back to people so here you can see the actor instead of the person right so this way you can change the url structure okay and similarly uh, you can also do for the custom taxonomy and the uh, custom rank for careers and the genre so for that you have to go to the taxonomy's career and uh, go to the career and you have to change it here but i don't i'm not changing it right now like just saying that you have to change it here okay for custom taxonomy similarly now what if you want to also change the archive page for example for the movie if you go here if you click on a view people or for example person you can see the people here okay but in the ur structure we have actor and similarly for the movies when you click on a view movies this is the post post type archive page and you can see the film you can see now film here because we have passed the uh, but film and the films i want to keep it plural like plural so what we can do i don't know whether films is the right word or not but if i want to keep it just an example so you can change the archive page url using the has archive so if you see the has archive here in the register post type so in the register post type you can sorry uh, here in the register you can see the has archive if it's true then it will take the slug from the rewrite okay so whether there should be a post type archives if a string the archive slug to use will generate a proper rewrite rules if the rewrite is enabled default is false so if you if you do not want a custom post types archive page you can pass the false and it won't generate any archive page but if you want to generate then either you can pass it through in either it will take a custom post type slug by default or the slug pass to the rewrite rule so we have passed the custom slug so that's why it's taking the film uh, in the has a has archive url but if i want to keep it same thing like films okay and for the uh, for the person i want to keep it people for example okay so if i go here um, into permalink section i had to just click a save changes go back and uh, go here refresh the page and then if you click on a view movies now you can see the films right and if i go back to the people and if you click on a view people you can see the people here okay so similar way you can change the custom uh, archive pages of the post types and the taxonomies and similarly for taxonomies so you can change the slug since uh, here in the post types rewrite apply to the single uh, uh post okay single arc pages and has archive only for archive pages but taxonomy do not have the taxonomy do not have the single uh, it's only have archive pages and that's why there is no has archive uh, argument for the register taxonomy but it will have only rewrite and which will apply to directly archive pages okay so these are the things okay so now um let's see how these things works like uh when we register, register a post type, how this uh, like rewrite rules have been added and gen generated and everything. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Jai WordPress.